Let's take a quick look at the United States Special Reconnaissance Airmen and their command structure, people, training, and missions. In 2019, the Special Operations Weather Team Career Field underwent a major restructuring and was renamed Special Reconnaissance in response to strategic competition against near-peer adversaries. They are a part of Special Tactics and assigned to the Air Force Special Operations Command, which is the Air Force component of the U.S. Special Operations Command, or SOCOM. SR airmen conduct multi-domain reconnaissance and surveillance with an eye towards gaps identified in the Department of Defense's long-range reconnaissance and force projection capabilities. Potential special recon recruits must be between the ages of 17 and 39, successfully complete the special reconnaissance initial fitness test, pass a special warfare and a combat diver medical exam have normal color vision and depth perception, pass a financial and credit check, and a national agency background security check. The Special Reconnaissance Training Pipeline is over 18 months long. You start out at Lackland Air Force Base, Texas, where candidates must complete eight weeks of basic military training. The eight-week Special Warfare Preparatory Course, or SW Prep, the four-week Special Warfare Assessment and Selection Course, and the four-week Special Warfare Pre-Dive Course. Then, Special Recon candidates will go to the five-week Special Warfare Combat Dive Course at Panama City, Florida. This is followed by three weeks of airborne school at Fort Benning, Georgia, the four-week Military Freefall Course at Yuma, Arizona, three weeks of SEER training at Fairchild Air Force Base in Washington. Then you head to Mississippi for the eight-week Special Reconnaissance course at Keesler Air Force Base. Then candidates attend the eight-week SR Apprentice course at Pope Army Airfield, North Carolina. And then SR Airmen finish with the longest segment of the pipeline, which is six more months of special tactics training at Holbert Field, Florida. Special reconnaissance missions include electronic warfare and multi-domain reconnaissance and surveillance. Preparation of the environment In advanced special tactics skills SR airmen use small, unmanned aircraft systems and leading-edge technology in forward operating environments to characterize air threats to provide environmental reconnaissance and to perform target development and interdiction. While general environmental impact analysis remains a SR skill set, it no longer dominates SR's training and mission focus. Okay, there you have it. An executive summary of the Special Reconnaissance Airmen. It takes a lot of education and training to become one of these highly respected members of the Air Force Special Operations Command. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to join my Life as a Special Operations team, and to forward this video to a friend who needs to know this. Life is a Special Operation. Are you ready for it?